Hello, Internet. <clears throat> so, yeah, Destiny Talk for the week of October 26th, 2015. Um, so, yeah, man, just um, same old, same old. But this time, I held some stuff back, and, and I, like, thought about it. I was like, okay, well, when I do these videos, let me go ahead and um, turn in my weekly Crucible thing. See if I get anything awesome. I guess while I'm on it, let me go ahead and turn these bounties in on this character that I just got. Okay, and then, um, yeah, I'll go to Shax to see if I got anything. Nothing really new to report. If you saw my, um, Zer video, well, I guess I didn't, I didn't do hard mode, so I haven't done that yet, doing it Tuesday when I raid with my, um, raid team usually, or when I usually raid, raid with my raid team. Anything you need? Okay, wait a minute, I guess I don't go to Shax to get it, whatever. I'll put this on since it's giving me crucible rep boost. I turn it in, I might get it leveled. In times of need. Whatever. Now Shaxx has something for me. <sighs> oh, 308. That's nice. Oh, that is nice. I can infuse it into my uh, sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay, that works. Or my fusion rifle. Probably gonna do sniper rifle just because it's more important right now. Like, since I have a 310, you know, already. So that works. Um, I was trying to think of something. Oh yeah, and the new knife rewards. Actually, um, so in the stream I was a bit upset, but then after thinking like about it, I said it in the stream later on. But it actually is like better because you get you know higher stuff. Like you know like that thing I just got. The base you know base level is higher, so you can actually use stuff that's for infusing stuff more often without having to rely rely on getting crap from the raid, which is super unreliable. <laughs> that yeah, I'm I'm very close to I'm not taking a break per se, but I'm going to basically be playing the game way less than I have been. Ooh, this is hot swap, but eh, it I mean it already has good stability, so it's not really an issue with this gun. Ooh, rifled barrel, <sighs> mm, and it's two ninety nine. I might keep this one. It's two ninety nine. It has a good range, and it has. Mm, yeah, Runewake is kind of like the, the machine gun I'm running right now, if I get it, but... Hmm. I don't know. It has rifle... Oh, the one I have already has <laughs> decent range on it, so I don't need it, actually. It's 299. I can put it into my, um... Oh, it has rifle bell, too. Okay, well, never mind then. But yeah, I can put it into my sleeper simulant, so that works. Or anything else that's not 299. Specifically sleeper simulant, though, just because it's not 300 yet. So let's do that. But as I was saying, dude, like, you know, for for 29, I think, I think the, <laughs> I think the whole, oh, it's fixed is like kind of a lie because the character I'm on, I've ran, the, I've ran the raid every week. Um, I didn't finish it the first week, but whatever. I got to work, so we didn't clear it. And then, um, what is this? Like I'm missing... Uh, the chest piece, I think this is the arms I'm missing, so I'm missing the arms, but then every character I have, I've ran it, like, besides the first week, every week, and then they're all missing something, so none of them have a full raid set, and they should, so it's whatever, I'm, I'm over it, but it's, it's super annoying, like, that and the fact that, like, when you get armor that drops in the raid, it doesn't always drop at 310, like, this, this chest piece is 310 just because I infused it from the exotics I got this week, um, Otherwise, my Warlock would have been the only character I had that didn't have a 310 chest piece from the raid. This helmet's 305, these boots are 300, so, you know, it's it's all over the place. It's all effing over the place. It's super annoying. It's whatever, though, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of over, like I said. What did I, was I going to infuse something? I was, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. 299. Okay, so now I'm wondering, did they fix the whole, like, when you get stuff for, like, Crucible and Vanguard? Level up, does it drop it better things now? Because it didn't used to drop it 290 or higher. So I guess that's us. That I guess, you know, in the Nightfall, they, they fix that. So I guess it, maybe it's across the board. Like everything else it works on. Or I'm sorry, that like it drops at higher base rates. Kind of went overboard this week on the Strange Coin spending. Um, I only have, what, 317? Well, that's not bad. 
I'll probably be up to 400 in no time, but yeah, I kind of need to limit myself on that. I went crazy on chess pieces, just trying to get the, you know, <laughs> not thinking I could just infuse like a bunch of 310s into like a 291 or something. So I'm, I'm going to do that in this video. I'm going to infuse my Titans 290 off of the Pi to 310. Hopefully it won't take that many pieces and I can get this to 310 as well. So I'll come back to that. Um, since I got a bit bored and like with so many marks, I'm not going to say bored, but like I, ha I, ha I kept getting to like the max marks and not wanting to like keep them because that's a waste if you just don't spin them. So I bought um, faction gear and everybody. So my Warlock has New Monarchy. And this is him new monarchied out. So that's that. And then with the shader off, this is a new monarchy shader. So that's a new monarchy shader with that on. And then with it off, this is what he looks like. Just the straight up new monarchy armor, armor set going on. So that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, he's using a dead over gun, but whatever. They don't have a, a really decent sky rifle right now. So it's whatever. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought constantly. I'm just like, whatever. Uh, okay, this is where I'm, I'm at with this character. I was three or seven a second ago. Oh, because I put on the stuff I'm leveling up, that's why. So I was like, why did I go down? But yeah, he's three or seven, so yeah. Compared to my other, other tier or whatever, so. Hold on. Let me put three ten on. Oh, okay, also, I finally got this upgrade all the way. I don't have the other two done because they're not fully leveled, but yeah, I think three, 307 is where he's going to be capping out. Yeah, so he, almost 308, whatever. It's no big deal. Ah, uh, so he's actually higher if I leave the machine gun. Touch of malice, okay. On the bar anywhere. But that's from a more like that big whoop um i was gonna spend a bunch of modes of light to get my factions leveled up but my my warlock's almost 25 so five more levels five more levels um i'm, I'm kind of thinking like i think i'm getting like one level per week per character so it's going to take like half a year but i'd rather do that than like spend modes of light on it to like donate to the faction and then get a bunch of rep because it's whatever like all you get out of it is an exotic item. Like, I thought about that. I was like, well, you get an exotic item, but what what else do you really get? Nothing. So, yeah. Uh, then last week, the gunsmith gave me a pretty cool gun with my warlock when I leveled him up. Which was this hand cannon, which looks pretty cool. It's a hand cannon, which means I'm going to just... Oh, that's a shotgun. Never mind. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it at all. It should be in here. Oh, wait, this is... A no, where did it go? I had it. I know I didn't dismantle it yet. Oh, here it is. This one. This Judith D. So this looks really cool. The ho all the hot guns look awesome. I've already talked about how I could show them all the time, but yeah. Seven rounds, high impact. Um, sm small board, but you get less ammo, so eh. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. I'm, I might dismantle it. I'm going to dismantle a bunch of crap in this video, actually. I just realized that. Because I have um, the Iron Banner hand cannons. I'm sorry, sidearms. But then I have like the ones I got from the the Crucible for each of them. The, um, I got the Havoc, Havoc Pigeon drops for each character. So I'm keeping this one for sure, because it's like the best, best roll I have on it. With Crowd Control and Feeding Frenzy, which is like the default one they have right now in the Crucible. Vendor. Um... The two, this one with Outlaw on it, not so much. Um, and like, Last Living Player on your fire team, it's like, yeah, I would use it in a PvP situation, but I'd rather have this one. And then like, the Iron Banner one I have, that's not it. I don't have it equipped, so I was going to compare them. Jeez. I guess that's the other issue, it's like, all my characters have the Iron Banner sidearm, and I'm like, well, do I dismount them all, or just keep one, or what? Because I want to, you know, have max inventory space here. But I'll probably just like keep the Iron Banner one because they're cooler and they seem like they fire better. Like the rate of fire on them, they feel better. All like, they all feel better. So yeah. This one has like what Zen moment and outlaw. So I take that over this. Cause it's like even I would use it in PvE PvP, I'm sorry, but like um I wouldn't always like be using like playing a mode where it's like I can be the last person alive, so it's not it's not always gonna benefit from that. 
and this one I'm definitely going to dismantle because it says, you know, one man army, but it's not going to use in PvE, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. This other two, I'll go ahead and just get rid of those. Um, I don't think I have anything on this carry that's 290, so I'm going to see if the other two have something they can infuse it with before I dismantle them. And go ahead and switch to my hunter now. Um, I guess as far as quests go, oh, I, f I completely forgot. Like I don't think I did this video last week, but I forgot the level five iron banner, so they all have the, the what the boots. Yeah, so I think the warlock's the one that didn't get them, and I had to buy them. And then he got the class item as a drop. I think that's the only thing I had to buy last week was the boots with the warlock because they didn't drop, and I was like, I'm not grinding this up, or I'm not gonna. Gr I'm going to uh, just go ahead and buy them and not just try to keep playing until I get it. So it's whatever. And then, you know, this is where he's out on the reps on everything. So, yeah. Um, I, I think I'm just going to keep this hand cannon for now just because it's, you know, there's sometimes there are, like, some stuff from the gunsmith or quests or whatnot that you'll get that are like, oh, get this many hand cannon kills, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Uh, I picked this up, the treads upon the stars. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm considering dismantling a bunch of this stuff, like this, this is one of my army though, so I might, the, the other one has Grenadier, so it's like, hmm, which one do I want to keep? I don't know, I, I don't see myself using either of them, so I think I might just get rid of both, because like, neither of them are better than my Dead Orbit one, so, if my Dead Orbit one had Grenadier, that would be awesome. So it's like, yeah, I'll sh just dismount these. It's like, they're, they're just taking up inventory space at this point, and they're just going to sit in here and not get used, so they're getting dismantled. Um, oh, also this gun, I finally got the uh, range on it, and yeah, really good, really good with the max range settings. Uh, I have a bunch of these auto rifles I'm going to dismount on the Titan. <clears throat> I'll talk about it when I get there. I'm keeping this in in the vault just in case I need a shotgun because it's like I don't need one but in case I do yeah Tread upon the stars it's like I don't want to get rid of this gun but it's like I only use this dead orbit one now and it's just eh, yeah whatever I'll I'll infuse it into something or something but I'm not good at this mail because it was we had a good time that me and that gun um these two I'm getting rid of because I don't need them. Uh, I basically, I'm going to dismount all the auto rifles on the Titan this week because he's the auto rifle character and I'll get around to it. But like, essentially, I've gotten to the point where I have like so many good guns of like one type. I had to like, well, I had to like, you know, thin the herd to like, what's the best gun I have for this type of weapon? And then just, you know, only use that. Otherwise, I would just always be at low vault space or constantly be running out of vault space. And I don't want that to be an issue. So, yeah. All right, so we got some marks now, or some more marks. Uh, I'm not sure if I had this at 310 before. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not sure if I had this drop or whatever, but I got it leveled up. So yeah, I have a 310 invective. And then I had like two more invectives drops, so I have three invectives on each character now, like I had near one. So no icebreaker, but invective, which is infinite ammo, so I'll take it. And I got this from the Nightfall. It, it's, it's on the stream. Like I stream every week when I do the Nightfall, so just check that to see what I got. Um, but yeah, at first I thought it was crap, but now I'm like, well, I guess I do need one for like, each faction. Like, this is for a hive, so then I can go and do strikes and just have, like, whatever, um, whatever type of ghost shell to get the glimmer from killing them. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the hunter. I mean, sorry, that's the warlock. Onto the hunter. Who I think is, like, 305 at max light level. And then my titan is 306. He's not 306 right now because I'm doing a quest that requires hand cannon kills. I just realized something. I forgot to go over the quest that I'm on with that character, but it's whatever. Because they're all on the same quest, except for the the one the Warlock has that the other two don't. So basically, on this character... And, oh, I gotta get the thing from Shax. Or I guess I don't have to get it from Shax, I can turn it in right here. But, um... The Warlock has this one, which is... Uh... Except it's for Stormcaller and melee kills, so that's his Crucible one he's doing right now. And then the Hunter and the Titan are still doing this one. I'm going to try to get it done before they patch it and make it easier. It's like so I can feel like I earned it. 
that, that's another and kind of annoying thing is like reading the patch notes when it's like you know they make some stuff easier like after the fact and I've already done it with like all characters it's like whatever dude this this one the hunter and titan are on the titan is like way ahead, not way ahead but it's, it's there the titan is more ahead because he has more kills on venus i haven't even started this one because i'm like whatever i know how <laughs> hard and annoying it is so i'm not even gonna bother with it like i'm just gonna leave this one and the uh, chaperone for like until i'm done with i'm gonna like redo all the year one stuff to get these bounty to get these quests out of here out of the menu so i can like just come back and until this one and this one are the only one in here I'm not going to bother with them until they're the only ones on here. So yeah, that's going to happen. But basically all my characters have those quests, so... I mean, with the exception of the uh, Praetith Ghost, or the um, No Time to Explain, my Hunter didn't get that, so it's just my Titan and my Warlock. But I'm going to get it done on my um, Titan, because he has future War Cult, so I don't have to worry about, you know, switching factions with my Warlock. But yeah. Tremaine of War, turn this in. 20 okay actually I'll take that I will take 20 strange coins crack money the joke basically my friends on destiny is that like one of my friends called uh three coins crack <laughs> so strange coins is like the, cr the crack money for it and like now it just makes me it makes me think it's like there is a drug dealer that shows up every week <laughs> we go to get drugs from <laughs> oh it's terrible but yeah uh so yeah this touch of malice is 310 it's not fully upgraded like I said, I don't think I have really anything to talk about on this character except for the. I'll get rid of the other flipping sidearms with the with the Titan because it's like why bother with it right now. I'm gonna end on that character. Uh, let's see. I guess she has a shotgun. I could I should put it in the vault then I guess. Cause it has rangefinder and the thingy thingy proximity thing. Uh, yeah. And the other two don't have their sleeper simulants leveled up yet, so it's they're there, but they're just not upgraded. I've infused it a bit on both of them, I think. 307, 306. I'll go ahead and get rid of this, because I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'll get five marks from it, it's fine. Because I think the Titan has like a 308 one, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and there's the, uh, the, uh, oh, I guess you can't see it, that's good. But yeah, the, it looks, it looks a bit funnier than it did in the screenshots when it was like, oh, that looks kind of cool, so, I don't know, it, it looks kind of goofy and silly when I, when, when I was seeing people use an Iron Banner, but yeah. Uh, oh, I got a second set of boots for these, so they're, they're actually disciplined, so I have to infuse them up to 300, but that's, that's like a, whatever, it, like, when it happens, it happens. Also on this character, um, same thing with the Warlock and Titan, you know, I got the Bogwilds, or on the Marsh or whatever, Bogwilds set with that go with that cape. But now I'm getting the uh, Dead Orbit stuff with her, so she has the boots, chest, the cape, or cloak, whatever, arms, I just need the helmet, which is like 125, which I will get, I guess I'll get it now, if it, I might as well get it now. Actually, I won't get it now, because I need to infuse that stuff onto my Titan, but, um, that's where my hunter's at. There's nothing really you need to talk about here. Uh, oh, actually, this... Okay. <clears throat> so, Session Nighthawk. I can't remember when I got it, but essentially, this is the role I'm going for on my armor pieces, my helmets anyway. It's like the Inverse Shadow and the Instant Shields. So, I think my type, my Warlock has this on his um, Light Beyond Nemesis. I could be wrong, but whatever. I guess I'll switch back real quick. But this is a this is Intellect Strength, so it's not Discipline. So, what I'm... I'm basically just keeping this one around. Actually, I don't think this drops discipline, but whatever. So I'm basically just keeping this one around until I can um, get it fully leveled and upgraded, and then I'm going to dismantle this one. Uh, since I can't really infuse it into anything. But yeah, 305. I've been slowly infusing these parts up too. So yeah, the uh, class specific legendaries. Her invectives at 294. Uh, oh, I, I got one of these. Um, so you get a quest from Petra, I think. And it's like, go do something. It's it's for the Bullying Gemini quest line, but whatever. Like, essentially, I got it. And then once you get it, I did get another cloak of the thing. But it's not disciplined, so it's kind of annoying. But it's, it's at the, you know, year two style level, so at least it's that. So I can use it. 
and I got the night in the nightfall I got the void one and then I have this this one I got too when I was doing strikes one day so that was cool and it's cool because it goes with this armor set pretty good when it's red and black so it's like yeah red and black um iron banner boots iron banner sidearm because they all got one that dropped so yeah, ready for Iron Banner again? Oh, this is 309. I'm I'm gonna infuse up the Titan stress piece before I go back to get this to 310, since I need like one more infusion to get it there. It's at 309, so it's like one away, which was annoying when I was doing that, because that was a discipline when I had when I made when I made my um zero video this week, and I was like, well, let me try to infuse it up real quick. So yeah, that happened. All right, there's nothing really else to show. Let me switch to my. I mean, I could show that void cape in the in the vault, but it's whatever, dude. It's just it's the same thing, just purple. So onto the Titan, who has a ton of stuff to dismantle and get rid of, because I have so many auto rifles I've I've been sitting on of the same type because I really like it. But it's it's time to get him get him out of here. Sadly. Okay, so yeah, I kind of have a problem with the character because I picked up a bunch of well, I didn't. Whatever, dude. I just I just kept getting the same auto rifle from the gunsmith, which is why I had a bunch of these in my video to this week when I made it. I like had a bunch of these here, but I had to like make space for the, you know, the gunsmith guns. Um, but yeah, the Zerni AD is my current favorite auto rifle, and then this one I got as a level up reward. Oh, I just realized something. My hunter and my titan both got level ups from the gunsmith, so I got to go back to the hunter and see what she got. But anyway, I got this I think last. If not last week, I got it recently. Like, it's basically a different type of gun, but it's 72 rounds, which I've not seen in a year two auto rifle, so I'm keeping it. Cause it's, I mean, it looks similar in stats to 8th <laughs> Gun's epilogue, but since I dismantled mine, I don't remember. I just know it had a low impact, high fire rate, and like a ton of bullets. It had like a 99 round magazine or something. You could put it on or something, but the stability is actually probably better. And it has that perk where it's like aiming down the sights. Actually, it fires slower, but it causes more damage. So that's that's good. So I'm keeping this one. Um, oh, I guess I forgot to mention on my hunter. I got the Ace of Spades finally upgraded, like fully upgraded, just like I got the Fabian strategy finally fully upgraded. Let me put these back real quick. Okay, so weapons. I have. I I was from the gunsmith. Whenever he would have that gun. I would always order it, so I have like way too many here. So I'm gonna take these out. Hold on, these are all locked for some reason. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, but they're all the same as um the one I've equipped. They just have different perks on them. So this one's one man army. This man's it's the same thing with one man army. This one's uh, one man army reduced recoil. This one's rangefinder and one man army and this one is persistence with uh, better stuff when you're closer to enemies and the gun I have equipped which is like the one I found it found first and fell in love with because it's so awesome it has like you know if you're the last person on the fire team alive it gets better uh, stats or whatever so it actually it's not as good as this one here because you want to be up close with the auto rifle so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one and infuse it to get to 300 and then like, you know, pass the torch to this gun. And, oops, I, t I always do that when I'm in this stupid vault menu. I was like, okay, let me do this. Oh, I'm, I didn't want to deposit that, whoops. But yeah, this gun, I'm gonna get to 300 here, so. Are they, do I have any muscle light on this character? I do not. But yeah, it's got, you know, basically the same perks, just better. I just, I just have to re-level it, so it's whatever. <laughs> I mean, that sucks, but it's not going to take any time at all, so it's fine. I could just dump a mo bunch, mo bunch, mo bleh, bunch of moats light into it, that's a trap, so yeah. So, you know, I'm going to get rid of, or not get rid of, but uh, go for the, you know, when two or more enemies are in close proximity, you get better reload and handling. Over the, when you're last person alive, you get better reload and handling. Because like that's good for like something like skirmish or trials or salvage, but I would always use an exotic primary in trials or any other PvP situation. So, 
and if I'm using MTV and I'm the last person alive, well, that's that's all fine and dandy, but um, ideally I would not want to be in that situation. So yeah, hopefully this gets to 300. Okay, cool. And then the rest of these I'll just dismantle, like the except for this one. This one is the uh, Armin SD, which is a different one. So it has like slightly different stats and more bullets. And the one that has um like this rangefinder one. Like, that one's worth keeping, it's just, you know, this gun already has, uh, it has decent range, so I don't really, I don't know, it, it's like, being closer and uh, getting that boost is worth it compared to if I'm soloing, which isn't very often anymore, because, it, yeah, it's like, one main army isn't going to help me all the time if I'm playing the strike or something. Or playing in PvE and like, you know, getting assist off stuff in PvP, so that one goes. The Rangefinder is like a good... It, it's also I'd rather have Persistence because it's got a 40 round magazine. So yeah. And then this one's going because it's like I don't need this stability because it's got decent stability. And then I just talked about why one main army can suck it, so yeah. And then this one is, you know, the same thing except it has one main army. Which is, you know, I... As mentioned, I'd rather be up close doing damage and getting boost on my gun versus getting... I mean, I'd like to get grenade and melee cooldown, but it's it's like at the expense of having it be a situational thing of like, am I on a fire team? Am I doing a strike? Yada, yada, yada. Like all these other things I have to get to uh, weigh in my mind. The Armini Arminius D is going to stay. I'll go ahead and vault it for now so it can be in, in the safety of the vault. <laughs> and I don't accidentally dismount it. Okay, check out my marks, I got 147. Alright, let's do this. So, I also have some other auto rifles in here. Like this Questing Beast, it's good, but, uh, you know, I will, I will never use it because it's <laughs> the one I have right now. The Zarin AD is just better across the board, in my opinion. So, I mean, it has like better target, ac target acquisition, which is good for PvP, and like the, you know, zoomed fire does more damage but slower, but at the end of the day, like, it's just going sit, to sit, sit in there and take up vault space. Same thing with this gun, which has Icarus, so it's completely useless to me. And, like, the other... Like, it has, like, two useless perks on it, pretty much. And, like, I kept it because it was a, a strike gun and it was anti-taken, but at the end of the day, dude, it's like, that ain't happening. I got these Dill Breakers. They're pretty good, but uh, they're not as good as this gun. So, getting rid of them. Increase reload speed when the magazine's empty. And uh, better radar for a short time. I can carry more to know that. Okay. This one has persistence and uh, bonus damage. See, that would be a good roll on this one. But it's whatever. Like, it, it's kind of maybe almost worth keeping because it's 292, but then it's like, eh, I, I'm not going to use this gun. Like I said, the same thing with like the flipping treads the tears of stars or whatever. Like, once I sell on a gun, I don't usually like switch it up. So yeah, like I, the, originally the reason I kept this one besides it being a strike gun was that it had, um, you know, anti taken on it, but yeah, I, I don't really notice a difference, so not needed. I think most of these are gunsmith weapon guns he gave me, so I kind of feel bad, but whatever. Well, this one's not because it's a Vanguard gun. Um, let's see, but yeah, this one's pretty good. This is actually a good gun. It's just a matter of, you know, what else does it have on it? Hand loaded. Yeah, this is a really good. It has small bore as well, but it's just not as good as the uh, Zarina. Like, it has less less rounds. It has better impact and range. And, I mean, I could keep it, but like I said, I don't usually switch it up when I'm using guns, so, yeah. Uh, these two are going. They only have one perk on them. This is like a 43 round magazine gun with Feeding Frenzy, which is cool, but it's only three more bullets. I think it also has like, like it's like a thing to like increase magazine size on this one. Yeah. I kind of wanted to keep it because it's like, dude, it has so many bullets, but now that I have the, uh, the other one, <laughs> the other one, yes. <laughs> oh, what's the name of this gun? The, the uh, FN, um... What is this? The Arminus. It's got 72 rounds, dude, so it's like, sorry, it's like, if you're not up to par, you're, you're getting dismantled. 
originally I was going to keep this one because it was like the faction one, but it's like, dude, I'm not going to use it, so. And, I, and they gave it to my warlock who doesn't use auto rifles anyway. So yeah. And these guns kind of have like crappy impact and range, so. Eh. Uh, this is a good gun because it's got reduced recoil and one man army, so. Also a good roll on this. Braced frame. Speed reload. Pretty decent stuff, but you know. It's no uh Zerone AD, or however you pronounce that. Okay, I got 170 marks. Looks like I'm gonna get my Hunter of the Helmet after all for Dead Orbit. And then this one has chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist. I'm not ha I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Cause yeah. I haven't tested out any guns that do that in PvE, so I'm not sure if it's actually functional. PvP would probably be cool, just because you could keep getting ammo back, but eh. Depending on the mode you're playing anyway, but I'll pass on that. And like usually I would like reload after an assist or kill anyway, so it's yeah. Kinda eh, like I just said. Um I guess I'm just mailing everything now, so let's go ahead and get out our our two havoc pigeons we're not keeping. So this is 310. 293, 292, we're not going to keep these. Now that I have the uh, Iron Banner ones, I'm going to keep those. Because essentially the thing was that I had one per character because that's like the weapon I use in PvP now. So that's my secondary. But now they have the Iron Banner ones. It's like, nope. <laughs> those ones are way cooler sounding. A, and they just. Like the rolls I got on them were, were pretty decent. They all have. I think they'll have maybe hot swap, I don't know, whatever. But basically, the, the, these two I just dismelled, they both had like hot swap and, or not hot swap, but outlaw. Oh, no, they didn't. One had outlaw and like last person alive thingy. The other one was like hot swap and something else, but eh, whatever. Do, 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 do. What else am I dismelling? Oh, also, I used this um, Nerds and Mercy, dude. I got it leveled up and upgraded. It's, yeah. Because I, I was getting destroyed by it. I was, like, using Red Death, and I was like, dude, Red Death is exotic. Why am I getting murdered by this gun? And then I started using it. I was like, dude, the rate of fire on it is, like, yeah, compared to the Red Death is really good. I think it has a higher rate of fire. If it doesn't, it's whatever. Like, I think it's the stability, probably. That's, that's probably what it is. This looks like the Red Death has less stability. But, yeah, you just are always on point with that gun when you're aiming, so it's like, yeah, just really good. I'll try to get this gun leveled up by next week so I can, like, talk more about it, but until then, I'll have to wait on that. Um, let's see, so this is going to be my child's, pe my child's uh, sidearm. I'll just leave it in here because it's got crowd control and the other thingy. When you get kills, you get fast reload. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's all the ones I'm dismantling. I think I'm going to go ahead actually, do I have a I don't have a hand cannon. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one for now. Because I might have a hand cannon thing where I need to like do something. Actually, I do have a hand cannon thing right now on this character, but I was using Thorn, so... Yeah, I know, Thorn user. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Okay, because I had this, um... What is it? I just started it. Wins with 6 plus hand. Yeah, okay. Well, now that that's done, let's turn in his thing for the... The, uh gunsmith and this and see what I got anything <gasps> nice so you can't get exogs from it you can get exogs from the weekly crucible thing let's see let's see what it is if it's 310 I'm gonna be all I'm so happy oh it's 290 because I dismounted my my other one that was 310 whatever I'm glad I got it back though without having to buy it from the blueprint machine that's nice okay now let's go see what the gunsmith has for me oh, apparently I leveled something up and I've, oh, I have a faction thing to get. Okay, cool. See, now I'm wondering if I was over three, 300, if I would, dang it. Ethene Effers. If I was over 300 or higher, would I have gotten the stupid thing where it's like, it gives you a higher base. Hold up, let me get my light level up real quick. And I'll turn these in. <laughs> I'm kind of upset about that, but whatever. Wait a minute, is Ghost Shell is 308? So yeah, the, t the Hunter has the, like, the lowest Ghost Shell. 300, 305, 
What do you got for me, Banji? A moment too soon. Ooh, it's the uh, fusion rifle from Amalam. Which gets me what? Uh, it's a it's a crucible one, so I don't really need this gun. I can't use it to anything. The impact though and stability really good. Like this is a, a good, good refusion rifle. It's just looking at the perks on it. It's not as good as my um, future work one, which I just switched between characters anyway. So it has hot spot, but it's not hip fire. So. Mm. <laughs> Easier to aim under fire, so that's good for crucible. But I don't use fusion rifles and crucibles anymore. Crucibles, <laughs> crucibles anymore. Crucible anymore. So that can happen. Um, got 186 marks, so I'm almost to 200. Nice. And then we can switch back to the hunter and get the helmet from Dead Orbit. Apparently, Shax has something for me. Crucibles open. I got the uh, cr crucible wrap, uh, boots, whatever. See you around. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Shacks, thanks for nothing. Uh. All right, I think I have a future work hold thing. So let me go get that. Switch back to the hunter. See what I got. Wait, no, I got twenty strange coins. But I didn't check the gunsmith, so I need to check that. And that's it for the video see what the hunter got from the gunsmith after I see what I got from future work hole here. Now I'm wondering if I leveled anything up when I turn that in on the hunter and I just don't know because I didn't go to the tower. So I guess I'll go to the tower, whatever. Oh, I also finally checked out the emotes from Eververse. I, f I saw some I wanted to get but I'm, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Until there's like some cell or something. Oh, I got another shader. That's crazy. See, dude, this is another thing that kind of like annoys me with like this the smart loot system is like I've gotten a bunch of like faction level flips, but I have not gotten any of the new ships, and it's annoying me when I see someone in the loading screen like crucible or something that has one. And I'm like, mother effer, just ah <laughs> <sighs> whatever, whatever. At least I got another future void called shader. That's cool. I finally got the Revenant from uh, Dead Orbit, finally, too, so that was nice. So let's see. Electric Strength. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, the only reason I would keep something is if I had Discipline versus what I already had, so... I mean, I already, like, insta-junked the boots I got from Shax, but it's whatever, dude. Like, I'm not trying to get Crucible gear, so... That green and blue. Hmm. Neon awesomeness. No thank you. So it should take me to what, like 183 marks or higher. I didn't check when I was in the menu. I'll check when I'm depositing this stuff to the vault and then I'll switch back to the hunter. One ninety two, alright, cool. So I'm switching back to the hunter. That should be it for the stuff I'm dismantling this week. See I'm keeping the sidearm because it's one of the ones you get from a quest, same thing with this. And usually they give you pre decent stuff from like the quest, so just gonna keep those 310 here after seeing there for reasons. I picked it up, I don't remember, in Exotic Ingram or something, whatever. I I had one before I already infused it. This is like a, my future work called Fusion Rifle, so I'm gonna keep the 310 one I have now. Keeping this hand cannon, because it looks cool. <laughs> and in case I need it again. Um, yeah, everything else I'm keeping, so yeah. There we, there we go. I'm kind of upset that I got rid of that 310 Hawkman though. Now I got a 291. And after playing Iron Banner and <laughs> getting ate up by it a bit, I was like, maybe I should have kept it, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, yeah, and then the rest of these are like 290 or higher primaries for infusion, if you're wondering like why I have blues in here. I just realized something. Armor side, did I? I didn't even go into this. But yeah, same thing, like, oh, I need to infuse this chest piece, duh. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, I got the Tanks Cloak. Okay, I was like, I knew I got, I'm not sure if I had these last week, but I had the Tanks Cloak. Oh, I didn't do video like that last week, never mind. But the Tanks Cloak and the Siren Flare thingy, that's Void. I got this on the Nightfall with my Warlock, I think, or somebody. <laughs> One of my characters. Eh. Okay, let's try to infuse up this um Alpha Lupi real quick. Before I forget. 
because this one I think actually has discipline on it. So I want to keep this one. I have two of them there, but that's because this one's 310. And I was like, well, I'll keep it for infusion. But now they have like way, like a bunch of 310 ones, I should be able to infuse this one. And then maybe the Void Fang Vestments or the other Alpha Lupi on the, t the Hunter. Since they're sold to chess pieces this week, and I just stocked up as we can see on 310 ones. Make sure none of these are locked. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the first one from 290 gets us to 304. Oh, nice. So I should only maybe need three of these. Yep. And then this one gets us to probably 309, hopefully, or 308. 308. Okay, cool. So I'm going to need... Crap. That's a problem. Because I want to use some of these on the Void Fang Vestments one I have, which is, three, which is 290. But the Hunters is 310 or 309. Whatever. I'll just... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just use... I'll get this one of the 310 because I need it for Trials. And then I'll get the Hunters up to 310 because I need it for Trials. Because I need one more for the Hunter. So they'll both be... like The, the Alpha Lupas I have are 310 now. So that's cool. Then I'll go back to the Warlock and use the Starfire Protocol because I already have a 310, 310 one. And that'll be that. What the F? Oh. <laughs> Not in the vault menu. Okay, so 310 Alpha Lupi. Nice. Ready for trials. Like that and these this, these arms. But it, they didn't sell arms this week, so I can't get that up to the 310. But the plan is essentially to uh, swap gear <laughs> whenever I have my super, which is what I was doing in Iron Banner. Because <laughs> it would, like, this piece brings me down now, so it's like I need to, I only zone have a super on. Uh, yeah. 310. Am I leveling this? Oh, I got the raid arms for this character, actually, so. He's the only one with arms. But no helmet, so. Smart loot system. Uh, whatever. I guess I'll just switch characters. I was like looking through my stuff, like what did I have on before? But whatever. I got a Telesto again, so that makes me happy. All right, let's put this stuff back. Switch characters. Get the um, gun from the gunsmith, and then our Alpha Lupi to three ten. And we'll have both Alpha Lupis at three ten. I guess use the last one on the Void Fang that the Hunter or the Warlock has, because there's no reason to keep it. So. Get that Void Fang Vestment at 310, and I will be sick. It's a discipline piece, I believe, which is why I kept it. Or why I kept it over the th when I had those 310, because it was not straight up discipline or a ton of discipline. And as we all know, I'm running Grenadier on all my characters, so I had to have high discipline for a uh, grenade thingy thingy. Wow, I said grenade thingy thingy. Uh, just check. Okay, done everything today. Cool. So I get the Doberbit helmet too. And that'll be that with the hunter. And the video. 183. 20 strange coins though, that's that's nice, I guess. I would I would not mind getting 20 strange coins with these character <laughs> for the nightfall. <laughs> Cause at this point it's like, you know, once you've gotten, you know, all the exotics in the blueprint machine, I just gotta get bad juju and I have all the ones you get that are off of the uh, you know, straight up not having to do secret stuff or weird stuff. Like Black Spindle and Time to Explain and the uh, First Curse and what's the other one? Uh, I should look in the blueprint print machine, but whatever. Like those ones. Like yeah, once you get all that stuff, it's like you don't really need. I mean, it's just a matter of like getting the 310, so you can dismount the 291, and then you know, you don't need the 291. It's like cause unless you're using it for any specific reason, you're not going to infuse it up unless you're. One of those weird people that's like, oh, after three to every every exotic or whatever. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to say that. Unless you're one of those collector people that likes to, you know, get all the stuff, whatever. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Just not 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 my type of style of play. So mm -hmm. more power to you, Gunsmith. Please give me something awesome. I mean, that being said, like Gunsmith has kind of been, you know, at first he was super awesome, but once you get like so many, oh, that's a sniper rifle. Eh. Once you get so many awesome things, it's like you know, you can only like. You plateau. It's like, well, I can't get like awesome stuff all the time. Yeah, this is a, this is an awesome. It's two ninety seven, so that's awesome. Ah, <sighs> man, that sucks. Control the battlefield. 
This is actually not that bad, because you get a portion bag for assist, so it's good for crucible if you're not good at sniping like myself, and you get better accuracy when you're crouched. So I could see myself using this, and, but I don't snipe in crucible, so it's actually not... I, I mean, if I needed to... Oh, it has a pinned magazine. Well, there you go, but... Eh. Like, I don't... Like, all my guns are, like, you know, that I use... This one's 294, but I'll switch to the one I have in the vault if I ever do, you know, need it in PvP. So it's like, yeah. Whenever I have a gun that he gives me and it's not good, I have no reason to really keep it. I mean, I could infuse my invective to 297, but it's like, dude... Three 300 busts. <laughs> I mean, like, this is why it's 294. It's like, you know, I, I thought about it, and I was like, well, would I like to infuse it up to 310? Or just have one drop again at 310? Yeah. This... <laughs> There's a right answer for that question if you're wondering, and it's and it's not and it involves not infusing it, so yeah. Because you're infusing stuff over and over again to three ten, you're doing it wrong. Way more work for yourself. All right, let's get this dead over the helmet. I'd prefer if it was discipline, but that's essentially how I'm gonna go. Is um you know until I get something that's discipline, unlike the stuff I already have or somehow better than what I already have. And I'll keep it. If not, just keep dismantling it for the marks. So now my... Actually, that's something I didn't show everybody in their gear, but whatever. It's cool. I can make another video, but I'm not going to. I'll just do it next week. But yeah, she's got the helmet now. So, helmet. Arms. Chest. Legs. And cape. Dead orbit. Dead orbit. Let's put no shader on. Boom. And then we have the Revenant shader, which looks like that. So all my characters have faction gear. Hopefully sometime this year it's like actually, you know, it means something. <laughs> I wonder if I can cheddar white. Looks everything awesome. <laughs> yeah. Bradsword, Bradsword, eh. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. Um, hold on. I'm trying to get. Okay, there we go. Two OSD are there. Or OCD. But, um. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Something to level up now with this character. Kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it. Whatever. So yeah, Gunsmith gave me that sniper rifle, right? And I still have what 66 marks, and I'm gonna get a bunch tomorrow because it's Tuesday reset. So yeah. Um. So so yeah. Basically, that's where I'm, where I'm at. With that. I'm sorry. That's where I'm at with all my characters. So like you know, they all have this crucible quest that they're trying to get done on each of them. The Hunter and the Titan have this one. That's you know, they're really long. A crucible quest chain, but I only have to do it once per account, so that's cool. So I, I don't really need to do it, I'm just gonna get it done so I can say I did it before, you know, they made it easy mode for. Oh, this is too hard, people. So yeah. Um, this one and this one, Chaperone and Touch First, first Curse, I'm just leaving. I'm just gonna leave them until I'm done with everything else, because it's like I know they're not gonna be easy quests, and I'm like, dude, it's. The goal is to have them done before Christmas, in that way, when new people start playing, since they're Crucible, <laughs> I can just go in and start wrecking <laughs> on people that are new to the game. And, uh, yeah, that's that's mean, but, uh, yeah, that's that's the plan, so F them. Uh, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Yeah, there's the Ace of Spades 293. I could infuse it up, but it's, it's whatever, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to make sure I win everything, but I'm pretty sure that's everything. So yeah, Dead Orbit gear on my Hunter. Uh, yep. Did I go over everything? I did over everything. Whatever. If not, it's whatever. That's where we're at. Wait a minute. Whatever. She's 30-something-something. Something. I don't need to be at that high level. It's whatever. I'm ending the video here. It's cool. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> there you go uh slowly getting grinded down to a to a speck of dust with this you know trying to get trying to get my light level higher but i'm i'm just to the point where i'm just gonna play the game weekly now and get back to where i was at um 
before I took a break so I can play other stuff over the weekend. I just play Destiny Tuesday, Wednesday. Like, I'll be streaming all the time, so it's like, if you see, if you watch my channel, this is Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll see what I'm doing. But basically, Tuesday is like, Nightfalls, any bounties and quests stuff that I'm doing, and then raiding, and then like, Wednesday is the gunsmith stuff, so if he has weapons, you know, test them out. And then... I mean, I have been getting five weapons per character, but that that costs a ton of glimmer. So I think right now, I'm just gonna get three guns a character because it's a ton of it's a ton of glimmer to get like all five guns with every character. And you get if you like dismount them all, that's only let's see five ten. <laughs> that's that's uh, forty five marks from that. So you get forty five marks from it, but it, it costs glimmer. So it's like, is it worth it? At this point, it's not because I have full faction gear with all my characters. I have tower gear with two of my characters. I'm not getting tower gear with the warlock because I don't really like any of it. And then I have, you know, the raid gear to try to get. And then on top of that, there's iron banner and trials gear. So it's like I already have. Let's see, let's see. I, I lost track. I lost count. That's like what four or five sets of armor with each character to like build up to. So I don't really need the marks to get any other armor weapons. I need bad juju, and that's like it for the exotics. Actually, let's go check that out right now. Um. I have all the exotic armor blueprints that are in there. It was weird because this, this week Zer sold the, I think it was, I don't remember what it was called. It was the something something of a Hamkara. It was the helmet for the warlock that gives you increased toughness or something weird. It gives you better defense while you're doing your Nova Bomb, essentially. He had that, but it was at like year two levels, but it's not a year two helmet. So I'm like, what's up with that? If I don't care because I don't use the helmets, I was like, whatever, I'm not buying it. So I just didn't bother with it. <laughs> I was like, whatever. But yeah, all my characters, except for the class items, dude, it's like, I mean, it's going to be a longer road, but I think I'm just going to try to get to the, everybody to like, oh my gosh, she's 15. That's not bad. I mean, that's that's not good. But it's like, if I can get like one level up per week, that's, you know, that's like a good. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, to get the other two factions that they're not already on, it's, you know the rest of the year but something to do without spitting my modes of light which are precious to me um bad juju i believe is the only gun i need i can need to get with mark still everything else i've picked up that's well that's except for like these ones i don't have you know but yeah bad juju i'll pick that up this week and then hopefully it just doesn't drop as often i can get other stuff i need even though like i wasn't getting a ton of exotics to begin with so i'm guessing it'll like somehow improve the loot table if you have stuff in here that you have already gotten. Uh, so yeah, going pretty good in Destiny, and I'm about to start taking it easy, or taking it more easy, I guess. Just Tuesday, Wednesday, not every day. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends, or not. That's cool too. And until you me again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'm now signing off